Like yesterday I tried to go live and it was a real messy affair. YouTube has changed things. So, but whatever. We're going to try and go live here. And I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and show you my once we got some people poured in the chat here, I'm going to talk a little bit. We'll go ahead and show what we got going on here. I'm right I'm leaning on the boat right now. But I'm just kind of hanging out. I think that there's like a big lag tie between the internet time and when it tells people I'm live. So we're going to go try it. Just wait and see some people popping in. Okay, we got two people. Yeah, there's a big lag. There was like a 40 second lag there. We'll see. All right, guys. How you guys doing? I don't know. I don't know if I can actually view people's chats. Where is it? Can any somebody say something, anything, just for like a test? Because they messed up the whole way things are done. Is anybody saying? Well, I wouldn't even know because I can't see. But chat viewing options, some messages, some potential. Live chat? Oh, it was there. Hey, somebody said so. Okay, cool. I can see you guys. Sweet. All right. John, Jacob, Jingle. All right. All right, here you guys are. I right, appreciate you guys pouring in. So yeah, um, I'm here. I'm here with the boat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the camera. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know that we are having our 12 days of Christmas sale. Pretty big sale. Like this is like a we're trying to break year end of year records to meet certain like goals. And so that means a lot of the stuff that you guys may have wanted on sale is like really now on sale. Pretty huge. So. Check us out, tvnation.net. But before that, or during that, whatever, here we're going to flip this and we're going to check this, check this out. All right. This is, check out the hull. I know, we're, we'll get to this here in a second. But this is like a low 16 Pro. Hold on. There was like a, here it is. Ow, that hurt. All right. This is it. This is what is it? Pro Angler Angler 16 foot Angler Pro. That's the ratings. It's from Low Lebanon. And this is this is definitely different than the one we just did. Which the one by the way the one we just did is still here, but it's at Fallon it's at a marine shop getting the motor reworked. So that's a whole nother video in of itself. The reason that that boat has not been on the water in like a whole month, even though it's more or less been done, is because of the stupid motor. So this is like a, a newer motor, like 10 hours on it. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys get the chance, just if you get a used motor, you risk it. Every end up having to pay just as much as a new motor to fix it. Sometimes it's just worth it to get a new motor. But I digress. But we, the bigger thing is this is, this is a much nicer hole. So look at these gunnels. See these gunnels? That's like a full three inch gunnel, kind of bass boat style gunnels with a little lip here. So if we wanted to run a wall down here, we could run it right to here. So we've already kind of went pretty deep into the back framing part. This is our rear hatch. No, oh, we left rivets here. Hold on. This is our rear hatch, rear facing. So we give you a pretty copious amount of support underneath it because clearly it's, you know, it's only got support on three sides. So this is a, a much, much more reinforced hatch than, than a normal hatch. And then we have here, let me see if we can find a piece. There it is. We can already cut the piece. We would stick this in here and then you'd obviously get another adjacent piece and T-frame it. So it sticks out, out here like that against that. So you have a piece to rivet the hatch to, then you have a piece left over here to rivet the sheet metal to. Right here, but we're way, we're way past that. And this is a live wells or 20 gallon live wells. If you buy the whole thing, the lid and the, and the lock or the latch, it comes just like this. We take the key right to it. 
pay no attention to the gross amount of metal shavings. So we did attach it right in here. This is, uh, this is, if you guys like this so far, hit the like button. Cause that's the only way YouTube knows to tell anybody to do anything anymore or that, that we're even live over here. Um, so this is tubing. This is all angle. You can box an angle. You can box an angle for regular hatches, just like, such as that one. But for the live wall specifically, you need tubing. You need tubing because you need the vertical wall. You need a vertical surface. And so we put a very copious amount of countersink rivets all the way across. There's quite a few all the way in. And so that live wall obviously is going to have like 90 pounds. of. It's going to be like a whole nother small person worth of weight when it's, you know, tournament ready. So we want to make sure that's pretty stiff. So we have this in here, tubing, tubing, tubing. And obviously we did do some welding. You don't have to do some, well, you don't have to do welding, but for longevity reasons, because we want this boat to be the best we can. And because we could weld, we did. So only in these spots, but the boat can still be put together specifically with riveting. And interesting way, we got away from having to rivet the side rails by using the spines. We shifted it ever so much. And you can kind of see it over there where we cheated again with welding. And then we T-framed another piece. Once we had this straightened out, we T-framed another piece and riveted it to that piece. And that flushed out the whole deck. And we avoided all the holes that we would normally run, which is good because I painted this boat a long time ago and I really didn't want to drill holes through it. This is what it is. Okay. And... This is the other one here. Check this out. So we want this to be as efficient as possible. So we are like, I forget what these called. What are they called? Jump seats? They're made by Fumin Boats. And I'm hoping he still makes them because they're rad. But these are essentially our flip up seats. We've got, we've got a lot of questions about flip up seats. They're a really big pain to make efficiently and produce in mass. But Fumin found it was one of the first people that actually make a run at it. And um, we're using these to flush over. And so this is going to be a whole usable deck. The whole deck will be more or less usable whenever you're not actually motoring out. So the back, the person, who, the co-angler, whoever's getting backboated, has a comfortable backboating experience. And um, then we have this. Hold on. These are... Console. So last time I welded a whole console because I just didn't have a good option. Um, I didn't really believe what we had, but we met these guys down in Florida, Revolution Product Development, so RPD consoles. And they all fit together kind of like a puzzle piece, very easy. You got pretty pretty generous holes there. See this this little spot here? This is meant to fit on a gunnel. So see this right here? I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Hold on. Clamp that here. This goes like right on there. Fits right in that channel. And then they got those holes there. So you can actually drill and then fasten it right through the hole. And it just it just stays just like that. And then the other pieces obviously you build up and you can size it up or mount it down. It goes all the way down, goes all the way down to the subfloor. So it's pretty cool. So that's pretty choice. And I don't know. I don't know how we're, the guy. The guy who's going to drive this is pretty tall. So I'm thinking if that wasn't there, this would be a little bit more flush up. So probably, probably. I don't know. Maybe that's too short. Let me see. Sit here. Console. If I had three hands, I could do this better. But we're going to just say. The back deck plus the flip-up seats plus the console are going to take about 50 to 55% of the boat. It's about the halfway point here for the boat. That gives us the whole rest of the deck. That gives us a pretty copious deck. I'm saying that's probably a good 8 feet, 9 feet front deck. So I've been, I mean, I've thought about this for a long time. I have personally never done a 1648 because so many people do them. And they're just uninteresting when they're just spammed in mass. And plus, I've always just 
been trying to do other trendy things like the pond prowler and the light skiff and the yak killer and all these other things, even even kayaks. Like I was trying to target smaller, more difficult projects that nobody else wants to do, but everybody wants to do 1648. So I guess I've got two in my backyard. I hate looking at them. My wife hates looking at them. So we got one out. That one's done. But that was much more of a basic conservative, very budgetous run. But this one we're trying to max out what I would feel would be an elite. 1648 John boat build how you would really kit out one of these boats to be just max efficiency to them. Everything is just everything. So like that includes the flip up seats that includes a rod locker. We're probably going to end up butting these together, which is going to look a little weird, a little weird um, initially. But if you don't here, let me stop. Watch. If you don't butt them together, you're going to have to like, you won't have any room for a rod locker. We have a rod locker hatch over here somewhere. Here it is. Hold on. That's the rod locker hatch. So get this. We're just going to pretend all these tools aren't here. We're just going to stick this right here. So we're going to float it a 7.3 rod or 7.6 rod. It would end up being right here. We ran into this problem... The other time, because this was actually for the other boats. But when we got to the other boat, the chair was there. We did all that extra effort. Remember, we got we did exactly the same thing here in the other 1648. And then we got here and we dropped it, added batteries, added little compartments down there for batteries and stowage. And then we added the traditional bass boat seats on top of it. And that kind of screwed us because, well, after you go that far, what, do you, what are you supposed to do, really? Um, you have to just. You can't put a locker there because you put the locker there. Like, where's the person's knees going to be? Maybe we can get away with it. That's pretty. Where's my pole? I had a fishing pole here somewhere. I had one. Uh, let me go look. I'll be I'll be checking out you guys' questions here in a second. See if you guys have questions. Also, this is live Q and A. We always have live Q and A. During these lives, well, because generally people have questions. Most of you are pretty savvy now by the point in time. We've been around for a while, so so you guys might more or less know. But if you have any questions about products or installation or anything, okay, this is a, what does it say? This is a 7.3. You can't fish eight-foot rods in a tournament. This is specifically supposed to be a tournament rig. The guys who are going to run this, the, the kids that were... We're kind of sponsoring for this. They're specifically going to be running tournament rigs. So that is a and I did not make that little chasm. That was back in the day. That was 1970s ingenuity um, for a rod, a tubeless rod locker slope. Because this was just like anything else, with just a very basic four to five foot front deck bare hole that's the original subfloor that we cleaned up and we're absolutely we're going to use again but so we could run this if we run it here we can't run it here it has to go back we have to assume that he's not going to just tournament fish and possibly he'll run he'll run big swim bait rods you throw big baits you can definitely need an eight foot minimum so to get that in there the look where the look where the seat would be so your knee would always hit the locker. Almost always. So to try and avoid that, we're going to do this. Right. Push this over like that. And that will give us a little bit more room. So if he's sitting there, it'll look kind of weird though, right? It's like, do you think it'll be too weird? What do you guys think? Sorry for all the shaking. I'm trying to fix this mountain here. Do you think that'll be all too weird? Because... You're kind of like together pretty close. We can maybe space you out an inch or so. We'll have to make some sort of joiner for those two pieces anyways. But you'll have this kind of sitting here. You should clear it, right? Or you should be comfortable enough to where you might be able to squeeze. Your leg might hit the wall of the rod locker. But the whole point is you'll get you'll get some rods in. We'll be able to fit an actual rod locker in with a console for your 1648 and it won't look terrible. Because normally, anytime you want to do one of these, like, 
you either have to choose between a console or you choose between a tiller build. Obviously, the tiller build's so much easier to do because you don't have to deal with this console problem. But we really want to put a console in here, so we're going to go ahead and just deal with it. It's, I mean, we could just we could run a tiller and then just make this whole thing elaborate with monster rail lockers, but then it's not very comfortable, not really good for long runs. You know, it, the list goes on, so... All right, guys, let's see what the comments go to say. What's going on, Robert? What's going on, D What's going on, Dustin? These live chats, man, I'm telling you what. These live streams have been pretty tough here in the winter. When like YouTube tries to kill all of us off. But I'm here for a little bit. I just kind of want to give you guys a rundown through the, through the boat. I figured I'd try something new versus sitting in an office staring at myself or staring at the phone. So it was real awkward, especially when these chats don't grow. But um, this will actually upload live, so it'll count as an upload. And you guys can get a, a pretty good live sneak peek. All right, guys. I will... Okay, one question. Oh, I could run the Rod Locker Centered. Hmm. That, I'll think about that. You'd have to kind of step over that to get to the, to, the, to the driving console, the driver's seat. You'd have to step over it to get in there and have to step over it again. But, it, I mean, it's a, it's a possibility. I, th I think I've seen somebody actually do that a long time ago. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and check out. Just want to catch up live with you guys. Remember, check out our sale. Or I'll see you guys later.